Well, how are y'all doing today? Southeast Texas Marshman here, otherwise known as Ron Frankson of Kingwood, Texas. And this is going to be my end of year shed antler and deadhead video. And this year I found 147 shed antlers. And, you know, the most of them I found in the spring. I did a video in the late spring where I found 96. And this is what I found in the summer and fall since then. And normally I would have done a lot better except for the floods of Hurricane Harvey. And, man, I had neighbors that had five feet of water in their house. And they were decimated. And the river bottoms are covered in three to four feet or more of sand and sediment from the upstream sand mines and uh, which is silting up Lake Houston by the way so hmm anyway we're gonna start out over here of course I got you know little turtle pig skull and then I got this three-year-old boar that I found and Mr. Stubby Spike three-year-old Nison and another three-year-old awesome one-year-old jeans there but by the diameter pretty much sure that's a one-year-old and got a little a little bitty uh youngins and i'm gonna cut up into a dog juice got the 19 inch spread there and then on this one about 10 minutes before i found this i had found human skeletal remains so i had to get out of the woods so i could get a hold of the cops and i did and lead them to where i found the remains of a human being that had been out there a couple years so it was all all bones and then on the way out i found this awesome deadhead so i don't know what the universe was telling me but i certainly hope that that person's family has closure so you now anytime i see that deadhead i will always think of you know finding the remains of a person so anyway next i got this freaky drop time deadhead that have been out there a couple years man i wish i had found it before those squirrels got to it but man, they did a good job on that <clears throat> And then here is Monster Mama. She is well over 200 pounds. Her skull is as big as some of my giant boar skulls. But, uh, you know, just different shape cutters and wetters. And then we're going to come over to some of my antlers. And, you know, if you look at... who oh, I kicked one there. If you look at this one right here, you go, okay, that's kind of unusual. You're right, it is. But it's got a hole in it. Who knew? I, I've seen some of these, but I've never found one like that. I thought it was pretty cool. And then the one next to it has a double brow tine, or what I would call a double brow tine. So pretty neat, huh? And then I found some pretty cool sets. Um, here I've got this, found this in early May. This was a fresh drop matching set. Probably scores about a 130 on the B and C. And then next to it, I've got this set I just found within a couple weeks ago. And believe it or not, it's very similar in mass. But when I did the video, I kind of did reverse force perspective. So they look really small in the video, the way I held them. And they're really pretty big. <laughs> so uh, they probably score about a 130 on B and C. And then, you know, I've got some really unusual ones. for Like that one right there lives in the thorniest toughest spot every time i go in there i get cut up i'm telling you but uh that type of genetic thrives in that really brushy country and there's another one and there's several more i found in the past so that gene does really well in that kind of terrain so you know in this picture there are 40 antlers but um and i wish there were more but you know some a lot, a lot of the antlers i would have found are buried it just is what it is and you know, and, uh, you know, if you, if you like looking at this, I encourage you to get out and go do this. You know, I live in the suburbs, and believe it or not, we have more deer in the suburbs than folks do out in the sticks because of golf courses and uh, fertilized grass, and, and you know, and there's, there's just lots of water sources, and so... We get a ton of deer, and by the way, we run over a ton of deer too. So, uh, <laughs> um, I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I hope y'all 
enjoy what I do so keep pushing that thumbs up and keep uh keep on keeping on and I'm gonna keep on keeping on so I encourage y'all to get out and go to the woods and I hope y'all have a wonderful 2018 and I will talk to you guys later y'all have a nice one bye now